The major shipyards are venturing in the flagship sector, long boats over 60 feet. We are on board of the Oceanis 62 yacht built by Beneteau, designed by Barrett Racupo, with stylistic designer Pierangelo Andriani, the Italian designer who is primarily devoted to motorboats. We are in Spain, near Barcelona. The day is a bit particular. You can see that the sky is dark and the waves are stern, but we are sailing upwind. True wind speed is 11 knots. The canvas is not so much for these conditions. Oceanis 62 yacht is designed with comfort in mind. As you can see from the shape of the cockpit, there are lots of ideas to make this boat extremely habitable. Back here, there is the whole area intended to operate the boat, with two winches. The rear one behind me serves for the adjustment of the sheets and of the bow sails, while the front one is for the straight and the other's manoeuvres. We are sailing with the Code Zero, a modern sail armed on the bowsprit. It is easier to use than a spinnaker or genica. In some conditions, it offers the same performance. The boat is quite agile despite its size and weight, including here below me a 300 kilogram tender, which is requested by the owner of this particular boat. Meanwhile, it has started to rain. Well, these things happen at sea. Oceana 62 yacht has a Yanmar engine of 160 horsepower, controlled by two different consoles, so that the helmsman can work where it is most convenient for manoeuvring. We are sailing at 2,000 RPM at 7.7 .7 to 7.8 knots. Now, let's increase the gas a bit. I want to see what it does. Well, you feel the power. We just hit 2,600 RPM with a speed of 9.5 knots. Some data. The boat is 19 meters long overall. At the waterline, 17.29. This is what ensures the great motor speed. The width is 5.33 meters. The displacement is 24 tonnes. The main sail is 94 square metres. The Genoa, 87. The Genica can get to 250 square metres. The interior layout includes two versions, four cabins and two bathrooms with three doubles and one twin cabin aft, or three cabins and three bathrooms, perhaps the best solution for discerning owners and their guests. This is the beautiful master cabin. As you can see, the bed is well made and you can access it from the sides, which usually isn't possible on sailboats. All the bathrooms have a separate shower cubicle, a feature from the motoring world that has now become a requirement even on sailboats of a certain size. The development of the roll bar is very interesting. It is not only an aesthetic element, but a necessary support to the awnings. Here are two sofas where you can read and, if necessary, opening and take in some sun. Another interesting thing about how this 
Another interesting thing is how you can remove the front end of the awning to allow the air to circulate completely. It is not a closed spray hood. In sailing we have seen the jib 100% and the code zero. In case of strong winds, very strong, you can hoist the staysail, which is self-tacking.